brushstroke and almost chaotic, is that uh, I could grab another canvas and do the exact same painting in an hour, uh, or, or like after this one, and it might not look anything like this. Mm -hmm. um, because again, it, it's it's not just the, the brushstroke of putting the, the paint on the um, on the canvas that that affects it, but I'm also just sort of taking pieces of yellow and putting them in pieces of pink and seeing what happens there if I like it and just doing that. And so whatever my, my hand is doing like this, which I'm not always actually looking at, that directly, very much so, affects what I put on. on so if you size. look at it now, how do you feel about this? Um, it, I, I usually don't um, formulate a real opinion right away. Um, I like to reflect and, and figure that out later. Um, but yeah. I mean, so in the progression of the painting, how do that? You don't go through that process. You just keep going. Yeah, I, I like to just um, let it let it do whatever it's gonna do, um, and not stop and reflect and, and change. Because maybe if I if I stop and I look at it, and I, maybe I decide I don't like one type of gradient, something else, um, and, I, and I change uh, my mentality of going forward with it, then it's almost like half the canvas will be different. It's like you, you went from black and white up to a point and then color, or you know, you did left brain and then right brain. Um, and I like just letting the canvas flow in, and it's going to do whatever it's going to do. Um, and just having fun and um, seeing what it looks like at the end. Because it's, it's fun for me to see what a canvas looks like at the end. So, yeah, going into it, I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, and a lot of times, when I say I don't know, I literally have no idea. Um, then eventually you would know. Maybe <laughs> eventually, <laughs> eventually, but um, sometimes it's a lot later than, than you might think or you might expect. So you just start putting paint down. I mean, you have an idea, like, oh, it's going to be mountain or it's going to be uh, um, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, right here, we're, we're, we decided since it was fall just to do um, a typical um, almost Adirondack scene of just a bunch of mountains oh. falling against a, a sunrise. Um, and so that's sort of what's what's going on here. And um, but as for specifics, uh, I have somewhat of an idea of what kind of palette um, I want to use. So we're, we're doing a, a, for the most part warm palette here. Um, meaning I did need a lot of yellows, a lot of oranges, reds, um, and some uh, a little variety in between there. Um, what would a cold palette be? A cold palette. Um, a cold palette. Um, Generally, a cool palette is a lot more uh, blues, uh, purples, um, really strong pinks. Uh, your shirt would be um, a really common color for a, a cool palette. Actually, both of your shirts would, would work for that. Um, but, I mean, let's, let's experiment. Let's, um, 